With the addition of the final update in Battlefront 2, we got probably some of the coolest skins for characters that I've ever seen. The main one being for my boy, Darth Maul. If you're here for me to help you out to tell you the best tips and tricks on how to get this skin fastest way possible, may I mention firstly, if you're here and you don't know how to unlock the skin, you it's a specific challenge where you need to get 5,000 kills with Darth Maul. Now that's kind of difficult, and it's really time consuming, so I'm going to try to explain to you, in my opinion, the best way to get it. Now obviously I haven't unlocked the skin because I feel like it'll take at least a month. 5,000 kills is ridiculous and everybody's going for it. Let's get right into it. Firstly, I'm going to show you the best things that I personally like to use for this specific challenge. Uh, the first one being lightsaber defense. Now this deals less damage for Darth Maul with blasters. Now obviously you'd preferably like to have Darth Maul level 25 to get the purple card. If you don't know what the purple cards are you can upgrade them with these special skill points that you unlock for leveling up your character. The second one is forceful thrust. Now this, this one just basically pushes away people further which is bad but also good. I like using this because for example if I have like Luke or Yoda on me I like to push them away as far as I can because they're usually an issue with this situation and they're just annoying me and damaging me a lot and the final one being accelerated throw now this is good because when you throw your lightsaber it deals way more damage on the way as it hits someone and on the way back so that's my cards that I personally like to use now let's get into what I like to play now if you don't know what co-op is it is basically online with four players against AI you have AI on your team and AI against you now do bear in mind these are some pretty smart and difficult AI some like I'm impressed with EA and dice for creating these because they're actually challenging at times it might be because they're overloaded and they can shoot you from every single side or it might be different things now what's cool with this game mode is it's obviously slightly easier now they might be smart as I said but it's definitely easier than normal and it's easier to get heroes also that mall is very difficult to get right now. i will go over the best tips and tricks i have how to get him as fast as possible in the game specifically but the eras you want to play mainly is separatist or empire preferably i like to play empire a lot now because the maps feel better in separatist some of the maps are huge like kashyyyk some of the maps are not as big and they have a lot of just open area where you fall like camino so what and there's even one of my favorite maps in the empire which is Jabba's palace now I recommend this if you get this be sure to get Maul as fast as possible because there are so many of them so many of the enemies it's super easy to kill them and it's not as difficult as the other map now let me get on to how to get Maul as fast as possible in a game not the skin just Maul now I realize that some people have a very large issue with getting Maul and I do too main there's a few things that I can tell you and one of them being you could get three friends now I do feel like this is an issue for most of the people that are going to be watching for example it's an issue for me so if you're playing solo well then what you can do is basically when the game starts the class that I recommend for you using is heavy the reason for this is because heavy is probably the easiest to get kills as fast as possible because he has his special ability of using a heavy minigun weapon which is super easy to get points now what you want to do is straight off the bat try to get 4,000 points as fast as possible in co-op the reason for this is because if you're first to get it you can then respawn by pressing options or pause or whatever you're playing on pressing that then go to respawn try to be as quick as possible before the other three players unless you're playing with your friends and you come to an agreement that you will use maul and then basically go as maul now be cautious try to play smart don't try to die and it's amazing because these bots count as kills for the 5,000 kills you need for that skin and that's amazing one cool thing they also added with this update fun fact is they added the two kenobi emotes for him and all of the other event skins and emotes for example if you want the kenobi emote of Darth maul which is one of my favorite emotes you can get it but you need 3,500 kills what's cool about this you can slowly progress to get the 5,000 kills with maul and unlock that dance and the skin and another that now obviously you could play heroes versus villains or hero showdown but i feel like you could get more kills in a co-op game than a heroes versus villains the reason for this is because obviously there's more ais do also bear in mind that this will be extremely difficult you will die because these ais are strong you will struggle to get more i'm not saying that every single one of my methods would work but the best map is jabba's palace or kessel because there's a lot of ais that are bunched up and if you keep throwing darth maul's lightsaber with a special 
initial move of accelerated throw, you will slowly keep progressing. I myself am just close to 200 kills. This is an extremely difficult challenge, but it's a fun one. I feel like it's a bit ridiculous that we have to get 5,000 kills, but hey, what are we gonna do? Have fun and play the game. I hope that helped. Be sure to subscribe. I'm so close to 3,000 subscribers, so you know, if this helped in any way, also be sure to like, share with your friends, comment down below if you have any other questions or issues. I will try to answer them all and try to read them all but yeah that, that's that's it for the video peace out